All right. So basically, you know what a creepy pasta is, right? Apparently, it's just basically of some fictional horror story on the internet that can rely on many things like alternate reality, videos, music, video games, and even lost episodes. When it comes to creepy pastas, what you need is creativity, originality, and thought into it. You should avoid cliches at all cost and go through the story to find good grammar and such. Take, for example, uh, getting good grammar on like things like docs or Grammarly or whatever. You must do that with a human mind, and if you do it well and put effort and take time in your story, it'll likely become, it'll likely become something good. However... It is unfortunate that there are lazy people who, instead of writing a simple horror story with effort, time, and creativity, instead there are people who AI generate creepy pastas. No, that is not being creative. That is being downright lazy to the point it's not even creative. The thing is, AI generation is likely going to form out something you may not expect, and that's exactly what you, it's going to happen if you give if you have an idea for a creepypasta by AI generation. Even though AI can be something useful on some sources, other sources like writing art, movies, commercials, and even creepypastas are definitely not going are definitely not, and it's definitely not going to be it's and it's definitely not going to replace that. When I pretty much used to AI generate creepypastas, it would it would it would generate only generic ghost story it will only ge generate generic ghost stories in which by the way I don't really hate but they're not even that fucking scary um what else stories that involves in things that without any explanation and managing to and even managing to making a cliched pile of shit that no one will ever like I decided to go back to writing myself because it's going to be the same fucking shit like that all over again and again like I said, and like I said, that's supposed to be the human mind that forms creativity and effort to your stories. AI isn't like that. It doesn't take time. It doesn't take any fucking effort to create a decent or good creepy pasta. I have seen a lot of people doing that on the spin pasta wiki, perhaps the creepy pasta and troll pasta wiki, and even attempting to generate it for the lost episode in creepy pasta wiki itself. People, please be creative in what you write. It's not gonna, that's not going to help yourself to write a necessarily good story. Another thing to talk about is there are a crap ton of horrible stories on some other creepy pasta wikis. This can go with some ordinary gamers wiki, the spin pasta wiki, and at one point the lost episodes wiki, during the times when it was called the Goshia's lost episode wiki. In the spun in the spin pasta wiki, I too have made some really terrible stories. I, I think that's because I was at the I was at back at track on pointing to write stories again back in like how long ago was it like two years ago? Yeah, I was back in track to writing stories again, but especially with a story like a mysterious Family Guy episode, which is just rushly made and that just has awful tropes in it. In fact, it was on the, in the it was on the troll pasta wiki. Now there was even a terrible, there was even a horrible genre of stories called THX, in which the THX logo character kills some other characters from other uh, TV shows and movies and all such, which are just fucking cancer as fuck, and thus the reason why I don't go to the spin pasta wiki a lot. Oh, and at one point there was a shock pasta in the spin pasta wiki that was absolutely vile and fucking disgusting. That there is no need to, that there is no need to even make me go into into it into detail for the sake of it the story was called mlp goodwill dvd and if you want to know what the story is about go check out the shadow years narration and i don't know why in the hell shadow even gave this fucking story a positive fucking review can you like explain can you explain like the shock and all that that was put into the story story was just absolute felt and in fact no one at one point I was about to shred this story into pieces until it was deleted off the fucking wiki then we have the summer gamers wiki or the SOG wiki which this which in which this site is literally dead when it comes to moderation and people still post horrible stories on there 
yeah. Anyway, this video is literally my thoughts, my thoughts on AI generated creepypastas and how they're not even that good and how it doesn't even form any creativity whatsoever. Just an FYI, this video is my opinion and this is my thoughts, so you don't have to get mad over it. Anyway, I am off.